What is up you guys? This is a drive down the mountain on Highway 18 to Highway 330 just to show you guys what the road conditions are like. It's, it's not the best, but it's, it's R2 conditions. You're going to need tire chains. Hopefully this will help you to see with your own eyes to make the judgment call whether you want to come up or not. I'm pretty sure you can make it. So just drive safe and enjoy this incredibly beautiful drive, you guys. It's gorgeous. Well, hello everybody. Good afternoon. It's just past 12 in Big Bear Lake, California. And uh, yeah, happy February 9th, everybody. Hope you all are loving these videos and loving how Big Bear looks. And most of all, coming up here and enjoying yourselves. So just real quick, what I'm doing for you guys, because I love you guys, I know a lot of people are worried about these roads, so I'm gonna take my butt all the way down the mountain for you on 18 and 330 and then come back up Highway 38. These will be two separate videos so you guys can see what the roads look like and to give you a better perspective so you can come up here. We want you to come up here, we want you to have fun. We want you to enjoy this beauty and I think you guys might be surprised how it looks. It's gonna be a spectacularly beautiful ride though, I'll tell you that much. But yeah, so that's what we're doing. And also, this is the last day of the sale at BigBearWeatherAndMore.com. In the, in the uh, checkout area, if you type in the word storm, you will get a discount. And we did this whole discount just for this big storm. Um, we got a bunch of new items in there as well that we put in for the storm. Zip up hoodies, flannel stuff. I can't remember the exact name of, of those of those bottles that keep your drinks super hot or keep them super cold, but they look absolutely awesome. I think you guys will be stoked and it would be another big support for our channel. So anyway, check that out. And last but not least, for those of you coming up here and you need to rent your skis and snowboards, go to Get Boards on Big Bear Boulevard for all your rental needs and even all of your new item needs. They have so much killer equipment there. It's all priced probably the, the, by far the best up here. I know their rental prices are as competitive as it gets up here, maybe the best, but the customer service is second to none. So go into Get Boards, tell them I sent you, and they'll probably take care of you above and beyond. And secondly, if you bring your own skis and snowboards in there and mention me, they will wax them for free. And guys, waxing costs 25 plus dollars so they'll take care of you guys you just gotta remember to mention this channel or mention me and they will hook you up so anyway that's that i'm going to show you real real quickly where get boards is we're, we're coming up to the village right now and and they have two shops the first shop is right here on the corner next to dynasty chinese restaurant here's the first shop get boards that's that's the ski shop and this street is called Alden, A-L-D-E-N. And here's the second shop on the corner of Knickerbocker. And guess what? The next block is the Big Bear Village. So it's right next to the village, centrally located. There's the snowboard shop, get boards right there. So go in there for all your ski and snowboard needs. And last but not least, when it comes to them, if you want to save a few bucks on your lift ticket, if you go to getboards.com and place your order for your lift ticket 72 hours before you plan on actually going skiing, you will save money compared to going to the ticket window on the day of skiing. So order your ticket 72 hours in advance through getboards.com and you will be stoked out again, folks. All right, so let's do this. This is going to be a beautiful, long <laughs> drive. I'm even taking time out of my work day to make sure I do this for you guys. It's important for me to do this for you all because I know a lot of you want to come up here, but a lot of you are a little bit nervous about it. So I just want you to see with your own eyes what the whole entire drive looks like. Temperature's 31 degrees. We're not supposed to get any higher than that today. I chose this time right around noon because there's not gonna be a lot of people going down right now. And then coming up Highway 38, when we get down there at probably two o'clock, there's not gonna be many people at all coming up. So it's gonna be perfect. Oh, I can't wait, it's gonna be so beautiful, you guys. 
But look at how beautiful our town looks. Oh my goodness. Thank each and every single one of you also for taking care of me, hooking me up over this storm. Last night was the first night I was able to get a real sleep. I'm not supposed to sleep past 10 because of my job, but I slept till about 11.30. I didn't get to sleep till about three or four in the morning, but I still got on and off a good seven or so hours of sleep. So I am fully rejuvenated and ready to go do this for y'all. Enjoy going to love. There's a place to go sledding for the kids and they have a roller coaster and everything. This is called the Alpine Slide at Magic Mountain. It's a paid sledding area, but it has a motorized walkway for your kids and you, so you don't have to burn a bunch of energy and you can just sled and sled and sled all day. I believe the price is 45 bucks to go sledding there, but you can sled all day. So if you go there right when it opens, take your kids there right when it opens, they can sled all day for 45 bucks and you can get a lot of runs in typically. I've been to these places when Literally, it was just my wife and myself, and it was, oh, it, it was on like Donkey Kong, I'll tell you that. Yeah, look at how beautiful the sky is way up here. Oh, this is just spectacular. I can't wait to see the views looking down 6,000 feet. Once we hit the Running Springs area, it's going to be epic. Absolutely epic. Last night I took my car to the car wash, the hand car wash at 21 degrees. It was really cold, but there's a method to my madness. Let me explain. So when you're in these snow conditions, guys, you're going to get a bunch of snow and ice that builds up in your wheel wells and it'll like snap your quarter panels off and your, <laughs> your fenders and, and all that good stuff. So you want to be super careful. The cool thing about our hand, hand car wash up here is the water's warm so i got i spent about 15 bucks to just spray water on in all my wheel wells and everywhere to get all the snow and ice gone off the roof everything and now my car is, is running incredibly incredibly well and uh, i was able to pop my quarter panel back or yeah my quarter panel back on because <laughs> it popped off Half of it was just dangling. And that's because of <laughs> of all the snow and ice packed in my wheel well. I saw that and my stomach dropped. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Oh my God. So we got that taken care of. But yeah, guys, that is one way to make your situation easier up here. Trust me, it's not fun being in 21 degree weather at night washing your car. But put on a nice jacket and some gloves and I'm telling you it's, it makes the it makes a world of difference to get all that ice and snow out of your vehicle so oh, just an incredible sight folks just an incredible sight I almost got up at about three in the morning or actually about four in the morning because there was a little bit of snow that looked like it was going to be coming in for only about 30 minutes or 45 minutes and it looked really heavy and of course I don't miss any snowfall so I kept on setting my alarm after three to uh, check and see and we didn't end up getting anything which is kind of a bummer I was looking forward to doing that but it is what it is just get around this guy we'll be golden so all these people are coming up still this is why I didn't want to go down 38 and come up this way because this is the most heavily traveled route to get in and out of Big Bear the one we're on right now this is highway 18 and we're taking highway 18 to highway 330 it's gonna be gorgeous Here's Boulder Bay Park. There's a little bit of 
ice on the lake. It looks great. It looks just great out there. Remember guys, do not go on that lake ice. It will not hold your weight. There's huge, huge fines for it also. It's, it's just super, super dangerous, you guys. I know it looks beautiful and it looks like it would be fun, but please don't do that. Your lives are very important. So once we get to the Big Bear Dam, there'll be a little tiny area of two lanes where we can pass then we'll be golden for a while. Yep, all these people are coming into town to have a good time. It's awesome, awesome to see that. Hopefully this, these videos will bring a bunch more people in. time to go down. This whole trip is probably going to take me about five hours to get down the mountain and then drive all the way over to Highway 38 and then drive up Highway 38. could hit <coughs> freezing out of the past couple days for a high temperature. It's nice <coughs> maintaining these colder temperatures because it'll keep the snow around a bit longer. But this radiational heating from the sun will impact our, uh, our snowpack because the direct impact from the sun shining on this snow will still melt the snow even below 32 degrees the sun is powerful if it was cloudy we probably wouldn't lose any snow but on a beautiful day like today i defy any cloud to appear in the sky dare any raindrop to pop in my eye part of the valley. There is a lot of snow over here. <clears throat> Look at how high these snow berms are. They're awesome looking. Welcome to Big Bear everybody.
just want to ride over it. Oh, hope that's not going to have any negative effect. All right, we got to speed up a little bit and catch up because we we have a we have a minor little passing lane, but then about 200 yards after this little tiny passing lane, there's a much longer passing lane, so I don't necessarily have to speed up right here. So we won't go crazy. But anyway, we're at the Big Bear Dam right now. Snow Valley. It is another one of Big Bear Mountain Resorts. Um, ski resorts now. They, they bought it last year, I believe. So now we have Bear Mountain Snow Summit and Snow Valley. All of our ski resorts up here belong to the same company. So I guess we're not gonna get the passing lanes. Yes, we will. I didn't know if the snow was gonna to be too much. Twenty-nine degrees over here. Usually right here in the little Arctic circle, the temperature rises significantly. Wow, that view over here to the left is Unreal. Hopefully we can see it. It's hard with these snow berms, guys, and those trees, but we should get a couple points where we can see. It feels so good leaving the mountain. It's been a long time since I've left the mountain, you guys. It's a little bit on the slushy side here. something that would be pretty easy for the snow plows to come handle keep in mind folks we're up about 7,000 feet up right now oh my gosh and you can see all the way down to the valley floor down there where redlands is and whatnot it's just unreal such a spectacular sight tire chains if you don't have all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive with snow tires. Temperature's up to 30. I wouldn't be surprised if it gets up to like 34 in this little eight or nine mile stretch, so we shall see. And then once we drop down into Snow Valley, it'll get a lot colder again. Always does. <laughs> Definitely fill up your uh, windshield wiper fluids, guys. You're going to be getting splashed a lot, and if you're driving behind anyone, it's just a, a greasy, ugly splashiness all over. And remember, give yourself plenty of time, don't be in a rush, guys. Don't be in a rush. Just enjoy this beauty. Again, this is called the Little Arctic Circle. Ah, the temperature fell back down to 29, okay.
bit intimidating looking, you guys, but again, if you're going nice and slow, you have your tire chains, I think you'll be good. I know that's easy for, for me to say, but I think you'll be good. side coming up so if, if you happen to get a little squirrely and run into that snow broom that thing's probably gonna hold you it's so thick these snow brooms are huge you can't see the regular beautiful view down there bit of a peekaboo view of all the way down the mountain at some points here but hopefully in running springs we'll get a view of looking down 6,000 feet we gotta be careful because this is our lanes are encroaching on each other over here dedicated to my buddy Troy my good buddy Troy these videos driving up and down these are for you bud oh, we got someone coming up behind us now so of course because we're going to we want to maintain a little bit slower speed to stay safe, we're gonna let them pass once they come up to us. When I first came up here, guys, that was the last thing I wanted to do because I was so used to the driving down the mountain where if you put on your signal, the people speed up because they don't wanna let you in and stuff. Like, uh, just the worst driving skills are all of us in Southern California. But after years of living up here, I finally got it. Let the faster traffic go, it'll keep traffic flowing, and it'll keep you safer, especially on these mountain roads. Alright, let's see here. Here he is, in his little Subi. And we're going to pull out and let him pass. He better hit his, uh, whatchamacallit's, there he goes, there's the hazards to say thank you. I was about to get on his tail and try to pass him. <laughs> That's one thing I'm still learning, guys, is to accept it when, there's, when, when they're rude and don't thank you when you let them pass. You'll still get a lot of that, but he ended up hitting his hazards to say thank you. That's what you want to do up here, guys. When people let you pass them, hit your hazards. It makes them want to do it more often and it makes them feel good that you appreciate it. I know this all sounds really stupid, <laughs> but I'm telling you guys, it's the best thing to do. And it makes you drive easier. It makes you drive better when you're in a good mood and other people are in a good mood and everyone's just hooking each other up leapfrogging each other on these drives. It's wonderful. I can't believe the temperature has not risen like crazy. So this was closed yesterday, you guys, so... Good for Caltrans and 
all the workers for getting this road back open. I, I don't know exactly what the issue was. I don't know if it was an avalanche or a rock slide or what, but it was closed. Because you guys remember when I was doing the aftermath video, we couldn't get all the way to the dam. And I was like, damn. We drove all the way out there to the John Claude Van Dam and couldn't get up or, or get around to the Fonskin area. Look at all these people coming up, guys. Have fun, everybody. Yeah, welcome to Big Bear, yo. Tony, guys, this is happy times for these folks. Happy, happy times. I know I tend to talk a lot on these drives. I don't know why. But you guys who are getting annoyed by it, can hit the mute button, put on some awesome music in the background while watching this gorgeous, gorgeous drive. These snow berms are humongous over here. Jeez. They go way above the car. Imagine skiing down that. Jeez Louise. This might be longer than five hours to get down and then back up. We shall see. I'm not stopping anywhere down down the mountain, guys. I have. This is all for you guys. Oh, look at that! Looking across the little Arctic Circle a little bit, but you can't see much because of these damn high snow berms. try something for you guys. I'm going to try to be quiet all the way until we get to the end of the little Arctic Circle. <sighs> After I say this, it's 28 degrees now. The temperature dropped. Alright, on the count of three, I'm going to shut up. One, two, three. through there not really I guess that's too bad now we're gonna drop down into snow valley it's 28 degrees and I told you guys that the temperature would get higher on the little Arctic Circle but it sure didn't I told you guys the temperature's gonna get colder down here so we'll see if I'm just totally messed up today. I'm still going to say it's going to get colder down here at Snow Valley because it is in a bowl. And that cold air just, just sinks down into that bowl. So, 
in honor of Kobe Bryant, everybody. Long story short, my mom, who uh, was a top real estate broker in Newport Beach for many, many years, um, she was referred Kobe. I'll, I'll make this long story short. Showed he and Vanessa lots of properties in Newport Coast and Corona Del Mar. And they ended up making a private offer on a property um, right down by, by the water. I, I'm from this area. I don't know why I can't remember the uh, name of the neighborhood, but cut my mom completely out of the commission. And uh, anyway, they didn't end up buying that place. But long story short, this is a day that I think is a celebration for Kobe Bryant. It's two... Oh, wait. T today's the ninth, so never mind. Yesterday would have been that because he had two different jersey numbers. Yesterday was the eighth. He played as number eight when he started his career. And the year is 24. He played with the number 24 to end his career. So two numbers, eight and 24. May you rest in peace, Mr. Bryant. Usually right about now is when the temperature's gonna start dropping a little bit when you're dropping into the bowl over here. Beautiful snow over there. Beautiful. or is the snow burn too high here as well? Oh, there we go. Beautiful Snow Valley Ski Resort. Epic. So beautiful. Stayed at 28 degrees. What is wrong with me today? Snow Valley on the left hand side is a snow play area where you can go sledding. I, I'm pretty certain it's a paved sledding area also but for those of you who don't want to make the trek all the way to Big Bear, you've got a snow play area up here and the ski resort right here to avoid going on the little arctic circle. It'll be here to the left and I'll show you in just a moment. It's called Snow Drift, Snow Tubing Park. Right here to the left. And again, because of these snow berms, you're not going to be able to really see. I'll try to go a little bit slower. It's right there, right in there. Wow, guys, I haven't seen these uh, snow, pi snow piles up so high. But I'm hoping you can catch a glimpse there. There's a little bit of a glimpse right there. And this place, though, has stairs that you walk back up. There's no motorized walkway. So getting tired is going to be part of the deal. Show 
wiper. Talking some smack to me. Whining and complaining. So this part of Highway 18 is a little tough because it's it's pretty steep. But I'm, once again, I'm sure you'll you'll be totally fine, you guys. Again, just with your tire chains, it's going to give you a lot of grip. I wish I would have had a video made how to apply the tire chains sooner. I keep on having people promise me that. Yeah, I'll let you record me doing it. And then I ask and it's just there's never any time. So I'll find I'll find someone because I don't know how to put them on. I've I, I've never used them. Even when I first moved up here for the first four years, I didn't have snow tires. Couldn't afford them. And I had two-wheel drive vehicles. And I still made it and did a great job driving around in Big Bear. But I'll tell you what, it makes the world of difference with your snow tires or your tire chains. We're back up to 29 degrees. We're gonna let this guy pass. It's another car coming up behind us. I don't wanna feel like I'm being rushed. Come on, buddy. Let's see that thank you. Cook. <laughs> he didn't say thank you. Six thousand eighty feet. Some people have wanted me to go up to Green Valley. Eventually catch that. If you turn right here, it's four miles up. You'll get to Green Valley Lake. But for right now, my focus is to show you guys what it looks like driving up and down the mountain. It's Highway 18 through Lucerne Valley. There are no restrictions at all. You're good to go. Chains or no chains. You're not going to need chains. But this rest of the front route is insane. Hopefully this dude in front here pulls over for the people behind him. Stop it in and out. 
out while I'm down there. I'm just do, literally just driving down and coming straight back up. I might put gas in my car, but that's about it. I don't even want to do that. I think we'll be good. still we're still in arrow bear it's really weird because snow valley is considered running springs which to me doesn't make any sense because we got to get through this little town of arrow bear all the way totally through to get to running springs good things about this little joint right here on the right this burgers joint I've never been there though can you believe that but I've heard some good stuff about it Again, guys, we're gonna keep the video on all the way till we exit the San Bernardino National Forest. So as soon as we get down to the bottom, that's when we're gonna shut it off. Cause I want everyone to see where the snow line is, where the snow starts. Should be a very helpful video for you guys. Especially the ones planning on cruising up here. Hey, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> to another thousand feet higher like where Big Bear is they'd get so much more snow sometimes they'll get a lot more snow over here anyway because the storms hit this side of the mountain range first and then dump most of what they dump over here and then we get the remnants but if this place was 7,000 feet and not 6,000 that 1,000 feet would be a huge difference checkpoint is where they're making them put on chains because people have chains on right now coming up uh, this is where we would get our first view looking down the mountain but unfortunately I don't think we'll oh yeah you can get a little bit of a view right there it's a little view looking all the way down to the floor 
6,000 feet up. And a really good sandwich joint, guys. Right when you get up to the top of Highway 330 where it meets 18 is right there at Rocky's Roadhouse. Really good sandwiches. Really good sandwiches. So we're about to transition from 18 to Highway 330. And Highway 330 will take us all the way down to the bottom. 18 will also, if we stay on 18, but it'll just take us on the loop through the whole mountain range. Or the whole front side. It's called Rim of the World Highway. The views would probably be pretty remarkable, but I'm concerned the, the snow berms would kill all the views. Here we go. Thirty two degrees. drive just to drive up to that point and just chill for a while and then turn around and go back so beautiful nice of this person but there is a passing lane coming right up here but that's what you're supposed to do let the faster traffic go huge potholes because this guy who passed me didn't thank me his tailgating he had to hit big potholes that's what's ha that's that's what happens when you don't thank the drivers here's the chain checkpoint right here Tons of people putting on their tire chains right here. And I believe they have crews of, yeah, there's crews of people here who you can pay to put your tire chains on. These guys make bank, absolute bank. This guy doesn't, doesn't wanna come up, turn around.
place here that has ice falling from the trees under the car. So good for the car. <clears throat> Those temperatures should start rising rapidly because we are descending pretty quickly now. Unbelievable views. <coughs> That is so pretty right there. And here's a bunch of people taking off their chains. Leaning out into the street. There you go. Come on, it doesn't get much prettier than that, right? For a beautiful vantage point. But we are almost out of the snow, you guys. As you can see, <laughs> they keep lowering, they're descending and descending. And we are almost out of the snow. Again, we're going to have no issues just like we've had going down coming up. We just got to drive all the way to the uh, south part of the mountain range to go up Highway 38. seven degrees and out of the snow we are completely out of the snow now 
That's where we came from, right up there. up here I couldn't wait to start seeing seeing the snow and then watch it just get deeper and deeper the higher you go it was just such a cool thing for me I bet a lot of you feel the same way driving up this mountain road <clears throat> seeing nothing and then as soon as you see that first little bit of snow on the side of the road and then it just gets more and more and more it's so great minutes on this drive we, we killed it you guys it didn't take that long we probably have another I don't know 10 or 15 minutes till we get all the way down temperatures jumped all the way up to 42 
should be probably in the 50s, maybe even low 60s by the time we get all the way down. We're almost there, guys. It's 45 degrees right now, so we might not get that much of a temperature shot, but we'll see. snowy spot way up top there that at the very top there that's only about 6,000 feet maybe a little bit lower So green over here, it's so pretty. Highway 8 or Highway 330. Highway 330. Usually we wouldn't we usually don't even touch the brakes at all this whole entire drive down. But when you got other other folks on the road it makes it tougher but you really want to try to come down these these steep routes without having to touch your brakes much because usually by this point you start smelling a lot of brakes like a 
picnic bench. A picnic bench. <laughs> a picnic area. It's the weirdest looking picnic bench I've ever seen. Guys, we're just about done here. It only took us an hour and 10 minutes. See, now we're leaving the San Bernardino National Forest. An hour and nine minutes later. All right, we're down. We are down. Thank you guys so much for cruising with me. Hope you enjoyed that absolutely stunningly beautiful ride. I'm telling you guys, you guys need to get up there and have a great time. Hit that like and subscribe button, help me out. I put a lot of effort and time into this. It would really help me out. Um, yeah, guys. Thank you again for everything. Thanks for making this channel so special. And yeah, we're gonna be going up Highway 38. We're driving straight over there right now, just to drive right back up. We came from way up there. Way up there. Can't even see it, really. So thanks again for everything, and I will talk to you guys later. Today is February 9th, 2024. In beautiful Southern California. Take care, everybody. See you soon. Bye.